extremely difficult to imagine an entire category of architecture slipping off the grid. But this is precisely what seems to be true of the incomparable step wells of India. Several tourists and even a good number of locals are oblivious to these centuries-old water conservation structures. Step wells are wells or ponds in which the water may be reached by descending a flight of steps. Step wells first appeared in India between the 2nd and the 4th centuries AD, born of necessity in a capricious climate zone which remains dry for much of the year, followed by torrential monsoon rains for many weeks. Over the centuries, stepwell construction evolved into complex feats of engineering and architecture. Stepwells, also known as baulis, were constructed throughout India during the medieval times. Even before rainwater harvesting gained significance and the modern world woke up to the perils of diminishing fresh water, our ancestors realized the importance of water conservation. The sites for the step wells were chosen where a natural depression or incline of the land meant that rainwater falling in the area naturally flowed towards the Bauli. India has numerous Baulis which have now either dried up or have been covered, but a few survive even today. A step well or Bauli which deserves a special mention is the Chand Bauri situated in the village of Abhaneri near Jaipur in the western Indian state of Rajasthan. The Chand Bauri is regarded as a unique innovation of the people of Abhaneri and was created with the primary purpose of rainwater harvesting. Located in front of the Harshat Mata temple, this colossal step well with the depth of 20 meters and as many as 13 separate levels consists of 3,500 steps. At the bottom of the well, the air remains 5 to 6 degrees cooler than at the surface and this place was used as a community gathering place for locals during the blistering summer months. The well as well as the ancient temple of Harshat Mata are both believed to have been built by King Chand, the ruler of Abhaneri, and is one of the deepest step wells in India. Despite its large dimensions, this step well has surprisingly delicate and intricate carvings. Abhaneri has a glorious history and the magnetism of the place attracts tourists from everywhere. Rani Ki Bauli, or the Stepwell of Neem Rana, is another stepwell worth a mention. It is a beautiful architectural monument situated in the town of Neem Rana in Rajasthan. The step well was built by Thakur Janak Singh in 1700. It is nine stories deep with the last two levels being underwater. At ground level there are 86 colonnaded openings from where the visitor descends 170 steps to the deepest water source. When Louis Rousselet, the famous French traveller of the 19th century, described a scene as a vast sheet of water covered with lotuses amid which thousands of aquatic birds are sporting, he was not describing any of India's famous rivers, but an ancient step well as large as a pond. Though not covered with lotuses today, a fair number of the famous step wells do exist in Delhi even today. One of these is the Hazrat Nizamuddin Bauli. The Bauli is a step well still remaining in Delhi that is fed by an active underground spring. The Bauli was constructed over 800 years ago by the Sufi saint Hazrat Nizamuddin Aulia himself. It doubles up as a swimming pool for the local boys who even show off their diving skills here. Three sides of the Bauli are surrounded by walls, while the fourth side has a flight of stairs leading to the water's surface. 
the water is thought to possess healing powers and is considered sacred. Another noteworthy bauli in Delhi is the Rajon ki bauli, also referred to as the Rajon ki ben. The four-tier step well built in the 16th century and situated in Meheroli is located close to the famous Qutub Minar complex. The step well is designed in such a way that the entire complex remains hidden and the structure gradually unfolds itself as one walks down its steps leading to the water. It consists of five distinct levels. Each level is lined with curved niches and carvings. Unfortunately today, despite restoration and conservation work, the Rajon ki bauli remains dry most of the time, which is why it is also now locally known as the Sukhi or dry bauli. Agrasen ki bauli is an important step well in India's capital city. It is a 50 meter long and 15 meter wide rectangular step well located on Haley Street near Connaught Place in the heart of Delhi. Although there is no confirmation to the fact as to the person who designed the Bauli, it is thought that it was designed initially by Agrasen during the period of the Mahabharat. It was built by the Agrawal community in the 14th century. The Bauli has 103 steps made of red sandstone which remain completely submerged in water. There are three levels in the rest of the Bauli, each of which is lined with arched carvings on either side. This allows the visitor a chance to explore the various alcoves and rooms within the structure that once may have been used for religious ceremonies. Presently, these rooms are occupied primarily by pigeons. A quiet lane from Meheroli village leads to the Gandhakki Bauli, built by Iltutmish, a ruler of the slave dynasty. It is a huge circular, five-tiered step well, built of sandstone, and many claim that the water of this Bauli used to smell like Gandhak or sulphur, hence the name. At present, there is very little water in the step well, which keeps drying up from time to time. The step well, which was once used for diving and swimming, is in a state of complete neglect and disrepair today. In spite of this fact, the Bauli remains the largest step well in Delhi, and the absence of water allows tourists to view and admire its architecture and intricate design. Some historians are of the opinion that the Red Fort Bauli was brought into the Red Fort complex by Shah Jahan. He renovated the Bauli to suit his fine taste. The Bauli is built of Delhi quartzite and has two perpendicular staircases at the intersection of which is the tank that holds the water. Today the Red Fort Bauli is maintained and protected by the Archaeological Survey of India. Today, most of these step wells lie in a dilapidated state that urgently calls for conservation and public awareness. Debris lies in the topmost section of the steps, making them difficult to access. Today, the step wells may not be serving their original purpose, but water does fill up in these bowlies during the monsoons. It is about time these step wells were restored, cleared out of all the rubble. and making it safer for people to visit these magnificent places.